Hello, I'm Maurizio Solato, Director of Systems Engineering with Vicor Corporation. Thunderbolt DC distribution is becoming a necessary and real choice for new telecom and data center power infrastructure. As a state-of-the-art computing, routing, and optical hub equipment continue to require more power, traditional 48 volt distribution quickly becomes expensive to install and operate due to I2R losses. At the same time, AC distribution utilizing AC UPSs becomes even more expensive and complicated. While it is well known that higher DC voltage can efficiently address the power system's total cost of ownership, system integrators need to interface existing 48 volt equipment in a simple and effective way. Similarly, equipment manufacturers need to design and make available new hardware that can directly accept the higher DC voltage. Today, I'll present power system architectures that address both needs. I'll walk you through examples of end-to-end -end topologies within the framework of the newly released Etsy EN300-132-3-1 standard. This diagram shows the structure of a small-scale light demonstration system. From left to right, we can see the following blocks. First, an AC to DC power system from Emerson Network Power. The system, based on the NetSure 3015 platform, features high-frequency switching technology in a compact package and 97% efficiency. For the purposes of this portable demonstration, Emerson has provided a modified single-phase rectifier to provide a 380 volt DC supply. Second, a 400 volt DC rated power strip with 600 volt DC rated connectors. Third, an LED lighting fixture powered directly from the 400 volt DC strip. Fourth, an interface board with Vicor products specifically designed to address 400 volt DC power telecom and datacom equipment. Finally, several data center type loads. Vicor reference design for Intel VR12 servers, LAN switch, one new server, industrial PC, LED backlit monitor. This slide demonstration of 400 volt DC powered ecosystem validates the feasibility of what has been previously discussed in concept. The demo operates at 380 volt DC and makes use of existing technologies and components provided by several major vendors. The solution shown features high end-to-end -end efficiency and can result in significant savings in the site wiring costs versus 48 volt DC. This tabletop demo was put together by using standard off-the-shelf components. The higher voltage DC distribution provides many advantages over AC distribution employing AC UPSs. Fewer conversion stages in the overall system, longer battery backup without system D rating, no harmonic losses and effects on distribution, no need for load balancing between phases, smaller footprint, and single global voltage, 380 volt DC. But the most notable advantage is the possibility to implement energy storage at higher voltage, either 48 volt or even 400 volt, as in this prototype. The Etsy specification requirement for 10 millisecond holdup can be accomplished with minimum components count and maximum energy density. The first architecture I'd like to introduce targets legacy 48 volt powered equipment. A simple solution in this case would consist of small external adapters with a 400 volt 1 over 8 bus converter followed by a 0 voltage switching buck boost equalizer. The two devices can be seen on the interface card providing a stable regulated supply to a 48 volt 1U server. The second architecture I'd like to introduce still targets legacy equipment in the context of a simple retrofit of the existing internal power supply. As most 48 volt designs rely on intermediate bus architecture, the opportunity arises of simply replacing the 48 volt to 12 volt bus converter with an equivalent 380 volt to 12 volt device. The new intermediate bus voltage range, 8 volt to 12.5 volt, falls within the capability of standard point of load regulators. Sensitive loads, like for example hard drives, requiring tightly regulated 12 volt could be addressed by a small 
dedicated ZVS back boost equalizer block. The 1 over 32 bus converter module can be seen on the board, powering an industrial PC and an LED backlit monitor, which both work over the 8 volt to 12.5 volt range. The last power chain I'll discuss today is the most advanced factorized power architecture. The 400 volt bus converter generates a 48 volt nominal distribution bus, whose variation from 32 volt to 50 volt can easily be managed by downstream regulators. This scheme achieves minimum number of conversion stages, maximum point of load regulators efficiency, maximum use of higher voltages with high current generated as close as possible to the load. With this approach, minimum total cost of ownership is achieved. On our board, the 1 over 8 bus converter powers a reference design for Intel VR12 server processors, which implements factorized power. This system has demonstrated 3% to 5% higher efficiency than industry standard solutions. This table compares the complete power system efficiency from the source, either rectifier or backup, to a typical CPU point of load of the three considered architectures. The factorized power approach achieves 88% total system efficiency when power is sourced from the high voltage rectifier. Finally, let's talk for a moment about system and operator safety. Etsy EN300132-3-1 calls for high resistance midpoint grounding, but using high voltage bus converter can further improve the safety level of the entire power system. As we can see on this diagram, the rectifier system provides for two main safety features. Isolation from power line, high resistance midpoint grounding with fault detection. This ensures maximum potential of 200 volt on the distribution lines with respect to hurt, as well as limited ground fault currents. By using Vicor's high voltage bus converters, a further resolution stage is added with safety extra low voltage type of output. Equipment and operators are safeguarded while all the benefits of 400 volt DC distribution and factorized power are maintained. 400 volt DC distribution systems are the future of green data centers. Technology and components that address immediate implementations exist today and are available. Vicor's comprehensive portfolio of downstream building block DC to DC components provide superior performance in terms of total cost of ownership and end-to-end -end design efficiency for your 400 volt DC to load power system. For more information on the 400 volt DC power architectures and Vicor's industry-leading bus converters and ZVS back, boost and back boost regulators, please visit the Vicor website. Thank you.